I, I know that you're, you're fed the scripts daily and things change, but I was wondering if any of the actors here have read a script or read a part and said, plot hole as big as, you know, the Lincoln Tunnel. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, can we talk about this? You know, uh, something that oh, a character that has never been. Never happened. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just it's just that you know, uh, Neil is supposed to be this criminal, and all of a sudden he can liquidate assets and buy buildings, and the, you know, I'm just curious. The, has anybody said uh, no? The, the <laughs> you know the the reality is that scripts are uh, a blueprint, and they evolve from the moment a writer finishes them to the last breath that's spoken on the set. And the people here are, are, uh, are their characters. They represent them, they defend them, they champion them, and they do that by being smart and asking great questions. And the beautiful thing about a, about a series is that over time, we learn a lot from each other both in the production and in the writer's room. And there's an ongoing dialogue. And Sharif and Willie and Marsha and, and uh, Matt and Tim all have a dialogue with Jeff Easton, um, sort of like a dictatorship. <laughs> no, not really. I mean, it's actually, it's, 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 it's a process where if, if something doesn't feel right, then we try and address it. And that'll happen at the script stage. It'll also happen on set. Yeah. If something doesn't feel truthful or emotional or, or right or honest or correct, then the, the beautiful thing about our show is I feel like we have an environment where people can say, you know what, we have, let's talk about this. It doesn't plus, plus feel as, right. as much truth and reality as we infuse into the show, this is our world. <laughs> White collar, baby, come on in. <laughs> come on in. Also, we, you know, we look, we look at it too as, I mean, it's, it's almost like raising children. It's like you do your best every day and hopefully you don't end up with an ax murderer. <laughs> and, and, and we, so we, we really do, we, every day, every word, we spend, when we walk in to rehearse a scene, it's like, can we make this better? Yeah. Is there any way to clear this up? And we do it every single scene and every moment and then you hope that the final product is better for that. And we, luckily we're still there, hopefully we, still feel that way, you know, 10 seasons from now, we still care enough. It's never like, okay, well, I'll just say it, whatever, whatever. It's just, it's just a scene, it'll be over in a minute, and who cares? We never are like that. It's like, it's very, how do we make this moment better and clearer and, for everyone? And I think the show has discovered what plot holes sail by without affecting the storytelling and what don't. Mm -hmm. And, and it, mostly it has to do with the characters, and if they're being correct and honest with each and, other. And Jeff Easton, the creator, is great at allowing those comments and concerns to come in, knowing that they come from this place of wanting to make what we love better. Yeah. I've seen other writers and other creators mm -hmm. say, well, I wrote it this way because of this. Yeah, and just, very defensive. Yeah. But Jeff knows who. As Willie aptly put, it's like a child that we love very much. And so therefore, could we make it better if we did this? And Jeff is always open to that. And it's that. Yeah. That's and we're huge. And, the, and this, chaos, huge. this chaos is not in a place ever that's like, you know what this scene really needs? A two-page monologue from me. <laughs> I think if the rest of them don't speak anymore, and, speak, and, and we're not like that. It's always like, you know what? I shouldn't say anything. Well, oddly enough, each of you anything. has come individually to tell me. <laughs> yeah, we do it privately. But, yeah. <laughs>